Hello. I'm honored to speak today at KubeCon, CloudNativeCon, and especially to speak on behalf of Peloton and the engineers at Peloton. Uh, for years, this has been one of my most favorite conferences. It's been a phenomenal chance to meet engineers that are working hands-on on cloud native technologies, building it, using it, deploying it, sharing lessons learned. And in the spirit of that, today I'm happy to share how Peloton is relying on cloud native software and the community to help us manage exponential growth. As Priyanka talked about in her presentation, uh, 2020 was a year of cloud native. Uh, 2020 was a hard year for all of us, but like many other leading consumer technology companies, millions of people turned to us, in our case, accelerating the move to home fitness and using Peloton services for fitness, health, and wellness. This required us to scale how we build and deliver our technology in so many dimensions. Given the popularity um, of the ubiquitous Peloton bike, it, it may be easy to not realize the breadth of the technology that we get to use at Peloton and why the CNCF is so important to us. Uh, our mission at Peloton is to use technology and design to connect the world through fitness, empowering people to be the best version of themselves anywhere, anytime. To deliver on this mission, we work across an amazing range of technologies the hardware that you all know and love, firmware, IoT and mobile, edge and streaming, and of course the cloud native infrastructure of compute, storage, data, and everything else uh, that all of us at CNCF love and use every day. Uh, we, besides just looking at things like bikes or classes at home, we can even stream classes outdoors. A few years ago, I used to hike and run in the mountains streaming music. Uh, today, I run outside and I stream guided running classes of Adrian Williams. It gives you an idea of how cloud native is so central to Peloton's uh, delivery of technology uh, to our customers. At the CNCF, we like to talk about scaling and especially auto scaling. In 2020, Peloton scaled in nearly every dimension. You've heard about our triple digit scaling of manufacturing capacity, but we also had triple digit scaling in our application downloads, our subscriptions, our streaming, the compute levels, every aspect of speed and delivery. Today, I wanna to talk a little bit about how we did this so quickly and while being 100% remote and how the CNCF played a, a role in that. Today's conference and this week's conference has a theme of forward together. Um, and at Peloton, we have a value that says together we go far. Perhaps you've seen the hashtag in uh, Instagram or elsewhere. This is something we live every day as our engineers work together to build. Uh, and basically this is how the CNCF works together as well. Uh, building on each other's tech, we get to take CNCF technology off the shelf. We get to hire people who know the technology, work with the end user community to share problems and experiences and help each other out. This is why Peloton joined not only the CNCF, but other Linux foundation groups like the Mobile Native Foundation as well. Using CNCF software helps us attract the best talent, helps them use their expertise faster, helps us learn and grow faster, which is central uh, to what we do. I'd love to share a great example of this that shows this in action, something that's very much at the heart of the CNCF to the name Kubernetes. This a little bit about our move to Kubernetes and getting our 100% on Kate's Peloton badge with Kubernetes. So in the last year, we went from a year ago, we were at 0% of our traffic on Kubernetes. We were using the normal auto scaling approaches that most people did. Uh, Peloton's traffic is inherently bursty. We do special events. We have very popular classes. At the same time, that base that we're bursting and auto scaling has been growing at triple digit rates. That made Kubernetes a phenomenal technology for us. So moving to Kubernetes, we basically, we hired some amazing engineers and engineering leaders. They were able to quickly take advantage of Kubernetes documentation, the community, le lessons learned, expertise, and their own expertise and drive us forward. In less than a year later, we moved to 100% Kubernetes, all of our traffic every day. 
But more importantly, this allowed us to scale for our biggest seasonal spikes. And to put this in perspective, imagine whole football-sized stadiums, whether it's American football, where football as the rest of the world looks at it, football-sized stadiums of people all in the same class with the same instructor at the same time. Then imagine multiple stadiums at the same time doing that. That's the kind of compute loads that we work through. Um, and moving to Kubernetes has allowed us to set those records and break those records, double them, triple them, and quadruple them in the last few months alone. And we're actually able to do this with less toil and to do this just more efficiently in general. I know you would love me to talk more about the details of this, and you will in the community get a chance to learn more. Uh, right now, our team is working with Cheryl's team to document this in a case study. I'm a big believer that you should be able to hear this from the engineers who did this work. And our great SREs and infrastructure engineers will share that story in their own words through the case study, and perhaps this fall in Los Angeles in KubeCon, North America. Well, our Kubernetes story is amazing. It's just one of the many CNCF technologies we use. Here's a little bit of an idea of what we're working on right now and what's coming next, and a little bit of how our ecosystem works. As I mentioned, we don't just work in the cloud. Uh, we work in hardware. We work in IoT and mobile and edge. And we get to pull all of these technologies together. So right now, for example, we're looking at ways to standardize our interfaces on gRPC to make it easier to connect in a performant manner with better type safety and better developer SDKs, not just across web and mobile and backend, but multiple domains to IoT and devices, to edge computing, to our interaction of leading consumer technology partners, making all of that a clean performant interaction on the gRPC standard. We're also now taking a look at things like open telemetry and how do we monitor and trace performance and ultimately our member experience across this entire set of technologies, apps, devices, CDNs, web, backend, data stores, not just an eye to solve problems, but an eye to optimize performance across all of these technologies to create amazing member experiences. Engineers love to optimize, and it's really fun for us to be able to optimize in all of these areas. We're also in the process of moving to a microservices-based architecture so we can unlock speed and even more speed and productivity. And in looking at that, we're now looking at how the CNCF has, and others have solved problems in service discovery, perimeter management, and of course, secure service-to-service -service communications. As we tackle this, we're thinking how to best manage things like perimeter and service mesh not just in the cloud or mobile, but all the way to the edge and to our connected fitness devices. This isn't just a buzzword. I know this is uh, getting to be a very popular term for today. This is central to our world of connected fitness and, and connecting our connected fitness devices to all of our technology. We're probably going to find some really interesting Envoy cases and perhaps Envoy mobile cases in this. And that's what we'll be exploring in the next year. And of course, we're also working on, as you get into Envoy and others, uh, service meshes and data meshes as well. I think the thing here is there are so many challenges between mobile, edge, and cloud, between cloud native, mobile native, and just amazing opportunities for us to challenge using CNCF and other open source technologies. As I mentioned, uh, 2020 was a year of acceleration for us, but our acceleration is not slowing down. And it's just like the CNCF, we're picking up speed in 2021 and beyond. As we do all of this growth, we're bringing on more and more engineers. And when, when you bring on lots of engineers, you basically need to give them the best experience possible so they can build and, and write, write code, ship code, produce, innovate as quickly as possible. When I joined Peloton last year, our CEO, John Foley, asked if our platform teams could work towards a North Star goal of creating the best developer experience in industry. One that would be a, the best place for engineers across every domain, whether it's hardware, firmware, edge, IoT, mobile, data, data science, backend. This is an area that the CNCF has been exploring in the last few years. With end user community especially has been looking on developer experience. Being part of that community 
has allowed us to explore problems together and learn from each other. It's even allowed us to develop and contribute some exciting new projects. And with that, I'm very happy to share that Peloton is also turning to Backstage, a CNCF project that's near and dear to my heart for my prior work, the CNCF community. Uh, we already have an amazing studio that lets the world's best fitness instructors produce and stream classes to millions. We want to create the same kind of a studio for our engineers so they can build and ship code with minimal toil and innovate as quickly as possible. But we're equally excited about finding the contributions we're going to make in the future as we interact with this community, not just in developer experiences, but across the entire spectrum of technologies that we're working in. And that kind of takes us back to the forward together, where the together we go far. This type of interaction is just so representative of the power of CNCF, both the software and the community. Knowledge of these technologies opens doors to amazing places to work like Peloton and all of the other member communities. Through open source, you can learn, build expertise, share back to the community as a whole. And then expertise can basically be work, follow you as you move on in your career and work with others and build on each other. We're really excited as a new member of the CNCF to partner stronger and innovate. We're also really excited about finding some new ideas that we can contribute back and show leadership in the community as well. Uh, discovering this together with CNCF and other Linux Foundation groups is going to be really exciting for us. I wanted to thank you for this opportunity, invite you to take a look at the case study that comes out from our engineers on our move to Kate's and wish you all a great KubeCon Europe 2021. Thank you very much.